Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get this in my mouth. Oh, mm, do you see that piece of meat? Oh, child. Mm, let me get a little taste taste now. Hey, everybody. Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. Well, as you saw in the beginning of this video, that steak that my grill master cooked was on point. So much that I couldn't wait to taste it. So I ate it. What can I tell you? In any case, I told you guys summertime is the grill master shine. And it gets me out of the kitchen. So anytime that happens, I'm with it. I decided this video is going to be all about him. Well, let me tell you something. When I first met this man, the only thing he could cook was some grits and what? A steak. Boy, he could really cook some steaks. And over the years, he has stepped up his game to top notch. He is the man. There is not a restaurant out there that can outdo his grilled steaks. And especially these ribeyes that he did. You saw what I had. In any case, I decided this show is going to be all about how he does it. Of course, I'll be in there helping him out with the seasoning. Now, if you really want to know how to cook a steak like the grill master, you're just going to have to do what? Stay tuned. Grab a bit of this and put a dash of that. Mix it up. Okay, we have our Sazon, Lowry Season Salt, Black Pepper, Casey's Blessing of course, some Kinkleman Teriyaki Marinade, a little bit of liquid smoke, I got my bacon fat cause it's all that for me, and I already have four wonderful rib eye boneless steaks laid out on my foil because I couldn't wait. I gotta get these steaks done cause they're gonna be the bomb. But before we begin anything, I wanna lay a little tip on you guys. It doesn't matter what kind of steak you buy, whether it's the most expensive cut or the cheapest. If you wanna ensure that you're gonna get a tender piece of meat, the first thing you do before you do anything else is wash those steaks off, put yourself some Adolph's meat tenderizer on it, put it in a freezer bag in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, take it out, and yep, you're ready to season. And it's gonna be on and popping. Speaking of which, let's get over here and finish seasoning these steaks. So, as you see, it's already laid out and ready for my bacon fat. Now, I'm not telling you to use bacon fat. I happen to love it because it gives very good flavor to everything. What you can use instead, you can melt yourself some butter, you can spray some cooking spray on your steaks, or you can use whatever oils you like to use. The reason why I'm even doing this is because I want to make sure that every single seasoning that I put on this steak is going to adhere so the grill master can do his thing thing. Now, let's get this bacon fat all rubbed up in the steaks. And you know I like to massage everything in really good. Now, I'm going to hit it up with a little bit of liquid smoke. Now, now, you're saying, you're about to grill this. Why are you using liquid smoke? Well, honey, liquid smoke, it brings the flavor up in any grilled food. And I use it on quite a bit of mine. I'm going to follow up the liquid smoke with a little bit of this Kiko Man's teriyaki marinade. Once I get all these wet ingredients on here, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give it a little massage here, and I'm gonna massage it in real deep and it's gonna be all over every piece. Now I'm gonna start hitting it up with my dry season. I'm going to hit it up with a little Casey's Blessing. And yeah, I know it's not ready for you to get, but you can get whatever seasonings that you happen to like. They got a lot of good ones in the grocery store. And when Casey's Blessing is ready for you, oh, you don't want to miss out. 
I'm going to follow up that Casey's blessing with a little bit of Lowry's season salt. I'm going to use just a little of this one because I wasn't able to get the low sodium and I don't want a whole lot of salt, but I do like the flavor. We're going to follow up that Lowry's with my Sazon, as always, and then a little bit of black pepper. After which, you know how I do, I flip it on over to the other side. Oh boy, here comes the grill master. He's trying to remind me to tell everybody how he keeps everything from sticking on his grill. So he has this bowl here with some oil. We'll finish telling you the secrets after we can get the meat outside. Now once we get it out here, he makes sure his grill is always clean after each use, number one. And he gets a paper towel, he puts it on the tongs, dips it in the oil, and he rubs, rubs, rubs all that oil all over the grill grates. Oh yeah, real simple. Now, he's ready to get those steaks on that grill. And watch what happens next. Now you know that your grill is hot and those steaks have bacon fat on them. So when this bacon fat hits those flames, well, you just, you, you just see what's going on. Oh, but not to worry because the grill master knows how to regulate. So what he's doing now is letting you get that first char with the high heat and the flame just hitting all over it. He lowers the flame down. He lowers that charcoal down. Once it's on there and the flame is down, he closes it up and he cooks it for six minutes on one side. Then he flips it over. Now you see those grill marks are going one direction. He's gonna cook that meat for six minutes on the other side with the lid down. And once it's all done, he's gonna check the temperature of each one of these steaks. Now, we like them medium well. We don't cook them all the way because sometimes you have to reheat this stuff because we kind of do things in advance. But the internal temperature of your steaks should be around 165, 170 to be medium. Once that's done, hey, my grill math is ready to get this stuff off of that grill get it on a platter, and it got to look like that. Now, you want to let your steaks rest. And you let them rest with a little bit of foil on top for about five minutes. And that's going to help those juices stay in and keep the moistness. Now, we're going to plate this puppy up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to get this in my mouth. Oh, mm, do you see that piece of meat? Ooh, child. Mm, let me get a little taste taste now. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Why would I ever leave this place and go to a steakhouse? Ooh, child. The Grill Master cometh again. If you like this video, well, you know, hit the like button. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you know when I'm always coming at you with another video. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. A little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. I'ma see you on the flip side. Bye bye. That's no good day.